Elizabeth Manley from the Minnow Club in Ottawa. And Elizabeth is in fourth place right now. That's, she's strong in figures, but she's actually a better free skater. You know, there's a lot of pressure here on these uh, young ladies because uh, they're all trying to accomplish that number one position because that would qualify them to go to the World Championships later on in Hartford, Connecticut. Now, it's normally the case that the Canadian Figure Skating Association does send the Canadian champion, but we have seen several examples in the past where that is not necessarily the case. And it's, those have been very uh, controversial decisions too, Debbie. Well, they were certainly right in doing that last year uh, in the case of Tracy Wayman. Let me point out at this moment, after the senior men's compulsory figures, Brian Pokar is still leading. Brian Orster of Midland had a fantastic set. He's in second place. Gary Beacom is third. Gordy Forbes is fourth. Campbell Sinclair is fifth. Kevin Hicks of Windsor is sixth. And a tie with Danny Albalon from Montreal. Elizabeth has a very uh, well choreographed program. You saw some very unique moves there. As she slid on her knees, uh, made a few turns, and very difficult and different combination of spins here as you saw her include a couple of hops in there. A lot of new, unusual moves which she's incorporating into it. And we saw the first attempt by the senior women competitors of a triple jump. Beautiful double axel, but earlier on, Elizabeth had some trouble with the attempted loop, double loop combination, initiated by a triple cow cow, which just didn't work. Elizabeth Manley from the Middle Club in Ottawa, coached by Bob McAvoy. She's a very, very strong skater, extremely powerful. Has what I suppose the skating community would call a great skating body. Very tiny, quite compact, short, beautiful extension on the camel spin. Look at the lovely height in the free leg. When she changes to the other foot, same kind of height with the free leg. Lovely arched back beautiful position. Say her compact body uh, really uh, is good for her jumps because she can get the height, she can get the strong uh, takeoff as we see her now go into a double axle jump. You can see the knee bend here. Watch the free legs hoist her up there. She gets very good height and in, in the air she has full control over it and uh, she skated a very strong performance. It's unfortunate she took a risk by trying to attempt that triple sow, sow cow jump into her double loop jump combination and of course she wasn't able to complete it and uh, as a result it's reflected in her first That's set of right. marks. It knocked her all the way down to a 4.3 with the uh, high range being a 4.9. It looks like they have taken into consideration the uh, difficulty in the attempt to triple South Cup. Beautiful double lust jump and that very nice element done by Elizabeth. Good height, very nice toe technique on her takeoff. Okay, and so for her second set, and this is for a presentation, and the judges like that much more as they gave her a 5-0, up to 2-3-5-3. Elizabeth Manley of Ottawa.